Alright, what's going on guys? It's Shen. Back here over on some more Warzone. It is currently uh, almost 5 a.m. It's 4.56. Old Town RD. Whatever that means, Elusive Eagle. Spectating during this very, very odd time. You end up seeing some very, very odd things. Ranging from some of the best players in the world to absolute... Yeah. I missed. This guy's level 47. Ah! So the hot drops that were along this way over here. Hopefully this guy actually goes to one of those areas. Yeah, it looks like he's immediately going to be going for his loadout drop over here. But somebody's just going to fire on him and immediately kill him. Awesome. And now we're stuck sitting here watching some random dude that landed on the apartment. I want to thank everybody for all the love and support on all these videos. Also, I ended up finishing up the uh, whole POW world thing. Oh, Yopi's getting shot in the back trying to run around. And oh man, he's in a terrible position. He doesn't have any more armor. So if you enjoy these spectating videos, leave a like on this video. The last one got like like 20,000 likes, so if this one could too, I'd appreciate it. Player next to him with a uh, most wanted contract as well. I'm sure that he notices, right? Yeah, okay, he sees it. Ends up cracking him, breaks the armor, ends up killing him, takes it down, ends up getting paid for it, ends up getting shot by somebody else now. Throws a smoke grenade down. That's a good smoke grenade, but where are you going? Oh, oh, get inside. He ended up diving through the door. Gotta find some armor or something. There we go, he found one plate. There we go, armor plate box, perfect. I don't know about jumping outside the plate. Especially if they're shattering a window. People are going to look around like crazy. Ends up hearing somebody. This guy's got sonar hearing. Takes him down. Good shots. yopi has got five kills already. Not bad. Somebody's driving up in their vehicle. He's shooting right into the uh, driver's seat. Guy's going to try to drive away from him. Can't kill him from the back over here. Another player. He ends up seeing him over on the uh, radar over here. See somebody right there. He's pushing him. How did that guy not hear him coming at all? He busted through the door. He was sprinted at him. Same guy is still driving around over here in some weird shit. Shooting at the tires now, making it difficult for him. What the fuck? He tries to run him over, taking shots at him. It's not going to work out that way, though. He's trying to lure him outside. He ends up shooting all the wheels off of the vehicle. Somebody else is shooting. Oh, man, he can barely move the vehicle. Look at this shit. He's trying to take out the last tire. He's specifically... Dude, this guy is so tactical. Looks like he's going to head over here and grab this uh, vehicle. Driving it directly up. Oh, he just gave him a taste of his medicine and he just hooks a hazard in his fucking vehicle over the entire building. He's looking for his vehicle. He's like, where the fuck did it go? Yeah, it's right there. I don't even think he can move it out of there. It's in a terrible position. Calls in the UAV. Uh, somebody popped up on the radar over there up on the uh, overpass. You can see him on his radar. That's interesting. Why is it popping up now? Usually it doesn't yeah, show. Closing in. Somebody threw a Molotov at him. What the fuck? Guy's up inside of the tower. Gonna make his way up the stairwell now. Guy might have a better angle than him, though. Unless he's not expecting him to jump up there. Oh, yep, he definitely is. He's looking around for him. Ends up cracking his armor, but the dude is too scared and just not good at the game to push him after that. Nah, this guy, this poor guy, he's just gonna hide up here the whole time. Oh, no, he's just fucking with him. He knows this shit is disrespectful. Yopi just sits there and toys with this guy. He knew that that dude is, like, very inexperienced and just wasn't gonna push. When you crack somebody that bad, you gotta at least try the push. That is crazy to just let him go and recover again back underneath of you like that. That was the best scenario that you had with your skill up. When you're not good at the game, you gotta land the first shots. You gotta catch people off guard. That's how it goes. You have to use that to your advantage he did it correctly but you got to have a little bit more confidence after you crack their shit you got to go in Questing recon flyover. calls in the uav uh, and nothing showing up on the radar now really odd because he's definitely sees somebody on his end why are you camping dogs scared to die in a video game homie okay there was a dude just sitting there next to a garbage can i guess he's looking over at this uh bridge over here because he did see someone over here earlier but their dot ended up disappearing and i can't imagine that they would just stay here. a very very uncomfortable position to be in. shut the fuck up war dog well, how's everybody so disrespectful he says you need punch in the face something oh shit that shit almost killed him harder than it regularly would have just because that shit hit him directly in the face oh he's trying to do some fancy shit i'm trying to like not have the uh animation happen whenever he gets to the top right there so he doesn't get locked in place and just killed for free but the guy ended up retreating anyway There's multiple people taking shots at him though where the fuck is that coming from someone's shooting from over there yeah that's, that's not a person. What the fuck? There's one all the way up there. Absolutely beams of multiple bullets hitting in a row. He's waiting for the AA to take over, but he can't do it if he... Okay, well, he just stays mounted. That's fine. He wants to prioritize the uh, recoil as opposed to the rotational. I think the rotational kind of does them both, but whatever. Somebody's sniping at this guy. Take some more shots at him. I mean, the guy can't keep getting placed while he's up there, so... Hits him a couple more times. This guy is so unserious. He gets knocked down for a second time. Ends up seeing a player beaming at him. Oh, well, nice. at least he's tenacious. Guy jumps off of the bridge over here. Finally, he still has plates though. He makes it over there to the gas station. He's fine. Guy has a riot shield. He has to be very careful about getting close to the player like this. He's going to stun him and then just fuck on him. He's running through there. Oh, fuck. 
Oh, he's messing with them. They sit there and just keep peeking corners and step in and out and just they know they, they can't get finished off. So he sees him rotating over there. Hey, that guy's actually pretty intelligent with the way that he's rotating. He's not like locking on to the fact that somebody's there. Definitely thinking more outside the box like a person that's using a ride shield would usually do. Holy fuck, that guy's moving quick. He's actually out rotating Yopi right now, trying to catch him on this rotation. He knows that the guy's gonna have to go into this building or the other one in front of him. Jump over. He's got the uh, better position being on the roof. The guy may have beat him to the uh, building, but he didn't beat him to a better position. The thing is, again, this guy is still a riot shielder. It's very, very stupid to sit there and fight a riot shielder on even footing. It just ends up getting absolutely lasered by somebody else that's just watching from the outside. And now they're fighting each other. I don't know if the Riot Shield recognizes that this guy is actually down on the roof. Ends up smoking himself. Wants to jump away from that shit. Doesn't have much cover. He ends up getting pushed by the Riot Shielder, actually. What the fuck? 24 players left. Nine kills for Yopi. He hears him taking shots at them with a suppressed pistol. So this guy's got a suppressed pistol and a Riot Shield. And that's it. He's doing weird shit, too. Like taking shots at people while sitting on top of a bridge. What's this guy doing? Taking shots at him. Cracks his armor. The Riot Shield helps him a little bit. The other guy's also helping them. I don't know if that guy actually ended up cleaning him up or knocking him down or anything, though. Yopi's just gonna rotate out of there. He said, fuck this. He's gonna make his way and get over to the uh, redeploy thing over here just so he can uh, get a better position. Because he has to cross the river and everything. It'd be a terrible position to just, like, not take this raffle right here. He's looking to see where they're rotating from. Okay, he sees him rotating into the large red building over here. The thing is, they have to go in the water first. So if he can go and get a position... Make sure that it's clear before he looks over the water. He can clean up anybody that's rotating from this point. Yeah, has to be very careful, though. I mean, yeah, you can pop this UAV. Okay, so one person popped up on the UAV. That's weird, because I'm pretty sure he knows that there's somebody also in front of him right here. Makes it inside. He's going down the uh, stairs looking for the player that's hiding inside. Here's him walking around. He's now going up the uh, wooden stairs here. Shoots him in the legs and shit. I mean, that's not the best cover for him, so he ends up just dying through it. Throwing knives him. Cleans him up. Nice. Yopi's got 10 kills now. Rapples across here again. Player directly beneath him. Wow, he actually gets beat with the high ground. Anakin actually wins. But he does get the res here, so he's okay. That is one downside to winning that gunfight in that position. You still can't clean him up. But still very surprising. Very, very, you know, fortunate of him to actually win that fight. Because that was a yeah, terrible position. And he was just sitting there, like, looking up at him and shit. But remember when we didn't have all this climbing shit? It's a little annoying sometimes it can get you killed. But imagine not being able to climb up these buildings. We should be able to actually get around Verdansk, actually, with all those rocks. Because you could not mantle those things at all in the original. Should definitely be able to once Verdansk comes back. Throws down the portable radar. Oh, somebody sniped at him. He's getting the fuck out of there. Somebody's directly underneath him, though. It seems like the same guy. He was pretty much in the same location, then just died. Eight players left. He's trying to rotate into a better position. Actually, a decently sized circle still with uh, all the places you can sit and hide as well. I think he hears somebody floating around. He's looking for somebody. He heard somebody floating around with a parachute or something. Yeah. You gotta be very careful with these buildings now, because there's definitely gonna be little rats just sitting around listening. Not moving at all. Ends up using a redeploy drone thing. It's a better position, but there's a player aiming right at him with a sniper rifle. He's trying to get down as quickly as he can without dying. Bust through the door. He's got to really hope that there's nobody in here, though, while he's plating like this. Yeah, very smart. He heard somebody inside. He's oh, man, it's a riot shielder. Fuck that shit. Get out of there. Oh, he runs into the fucking electrocute. Trying to run away. The guy didn't even pursue him. Throws out a smoke grenade. He wants to go and climb up the ladder now. Gets in a good position. Lays right down there. It's laying down. Now, if this riot shielder actually runs around the corner, though, and actually just starts mailing him, he's dead. There's somebody shooting on top of the building right yeah, They man. have to rotate off of it. The guy sprays okay. smoke grenades in. A couple people underneath. You hear a couple mines thrown down as well while people are rotating through there. They gotta be careful. He's trying to rotate ahead of them. Gets ahead of one of them. And he loses the fight! Holy shit! Poppy staying alive in a terrible position. That was a very, very ugly rotation for everybody. He's got nine kills. Everybody's yeah, using the same man. shit. Got a sniper rifle, though. Okay, I respect it. I was expecting that uh, LMG again, but whatever. He's got the yeah, HRM like everybody else has had. There's a sniper above him as well. He's throwing multiple frag grenades above himself. Throws incendiary. Oh, it works. It hits him. He's just going to stay underneath right here. He's just going to stay safe. Five players remaining. He knows that there's at least one of them directly above him. Oh, and they're fighting each other, and one of them ends up getting killed. Seems like the guy that's above him is one that won still. Yeah, that guy has got to be directly above him. I wonder if he has a uh, FMJ. Might be able to just look straight up and shoot him. There's only so many places he can be. He wouldn't want to give away his position. I get it, but fuck it. The guy has to be at least kind of wary that somebody else is in the same building. Poppy wasn't exactly uh, silent about it. He's just going to lay down still be very, very quiet. He's been aim walking this entire time, trying to stay as quiet as possible. He's shaking his head no. I think he's scared to move now. <laughs> He's rotating behind. Definitely made some noise. The guy's very aware that he's there. He's going to be above him. Taking shots directly down at him. 
Rotates back the other way. Good decision making. Guys directly above him. It's only these two left. Oh man, this is gonna be weird. Will that guy even ever give up that position though? Realistically, he throws out a smoke grenade to try to... A little bit of smoke and mirrors. But he's making a good amount of noise trying to move through the building, so... Taking some shots at him. They both cracked each other. Just reset the fight again. They both know. I mean, he's only got two little ticks left over here on the, uh... uh oh. Goes on the smoke grenade. He wants to rotate out. He ends up pushing him. He hits him a couple times. The guy re-challenges him. Big balls. He's rotating back the other way. He decides against it. He has to make it over here, though, because he can't play it anymore. He's trying to play it in the last moment. The guy's wall-banging him! Did he just get knocked? He's looking for him, but he's dying. The guy's rezzing. He's looking for him. He doesn't know where he is. Cleans him up. Oh, man. That was actually kind of intense. Man, a lot of people played those fights really, really well. Like, everybody. Even if they weren't, like, the best shots for everybody, they played them really well. Like, decision-making-wise and placement and stuff, I think they did really, really well. Lots of resetting the fights. That's what you want. Also, there's a UFC event tonight. Just gonna go through my picks really quick. It's a Volkanovski versus Ilya Taporia. Uh, Amanda Lemos versus Mackenzie Dern. I got Amanda Lemos, even though Lemos is kind of older, so that could play a factor in this whole thing. But, in general, I think striking uh, Dern is just not gonna stand a chance. So, if Dern can't get it to the mat and Lemos just kind kind of uh, deals with, uh, you know, the takedown attempts and stuff properly. I can see it being really bad for Mackenzie Dern. Anthony Hernandez versus Roman Kopilov. I got Kopilov. Marab Devalishvili versus Henry Cejudo. That's a really, really good one. But I know a lot of people that aren't going to like wrestling are going to be really annoyed with that fight because it's going to be a whole lot of wrestling. I got Marab on that. I just feel like he's, the what he did to Jan, I feel like he can potentially do the same thing to Henry Cejudo, which is crazy to say considering Henry's attributes. But again, it's just that his attributes overall in terms of his size, I think he has the cardio to try to keep up with him in general but after a while like everybody just wilts under the pressure of Marab if he can actually stop Marab it would be crazy but I got Marab I just see him just tiring Henry out eventually being able to get takedowns or just not allow Henry to do anything else except be held up against the cage and get no offense off whatsoever. Completely smothered. I highly doubt there will be a finish. Jeff Neal versus Ian Gary. I got Ian Gary, even though this is definitely his biggest test. And if he gets cracked by Jeff Neal, I think Jeff Neal is definitely one of the hardest punchers that Ian has ever fought. He might be the hardest puncher and he's got very, very good crisp boxing. So we'll see how that goes, but I got Ian. Robert Whitaker against Paulo Costa. I got Robert Whitaker, even though I was stunned that Robert Whitaker ended up losing to Drikas. Drikas is obviously a very, very very particular style that's very very difficult to kind of prepare for the way that he bulls through people I think Paulo Costa is kind of I don't know he seems a little inactive it feels like Paulo Costa hasn't fought in a really long time and then the last couple times that he's fought they haven't been insanely impressive I like Paulo Costa though he knows how to meme and shit he's a pretty funny guy it seems like but Robert Whitaker should outclass him but we'll see and then Alexander Volkanovsky against Ilya Taporia of course I gotta go with Alexander Volkanovsky even though I really enjoyed watching Ilya Taporia I think his skill set is insane and he definitely has one of the best chances to beat Volk uh, one thing that I really don't like about this fight for Volk is that like they're really close to the same size Ilya is only slightly taller than him and he's got a style that might be kind of an issue for Volk maybe if the stand-up and the crisp boxing is a little bit too much I'm curious what like maybe the leg kicks or something I, I really want to see what Volk's plans are but there's this weird stat out there it's like anybody that's under 185 pounds and over the age of 35 they only win like 30 percent of the time so the odds are kind of against him with you know Ilya coming but I got Volk I can't doubt him after the whole Max Holloway fights I, I can't doubt him ever again I wouldn't even doubt him in a third fight with Pakasha but yeah those are my picks Volk, Whitaker, Ian Gary, Marab, Kapilov, and Lemos.